outside of downtown Grand Rapids, it's calm, it's quiet. We're not seeing too much in terms of snow. We just have some cloud cover right now. We are seeing those mostly cloudy conditions. Actually, it says we're picking up a few flakes on the radar. Those are just be very light lake effect snowflakes struggling to hit the ground if they are 17 degrees. Feels like those single digits though because that wind coming out of the south right now at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So what we're tracking over the next couple of days is that snow beginning to start after midnight. Those lake effect flakes again light right now, but a system making its way across Lake Michigan in the next couple of hours could make for a few slick spots Monday morning and even Monday evening for your commute because this will be an all day event. And then after that system moves on through lake effect snow will linger around. Could see another inch or so of accumulation on Tuesday. So here's that system out there in Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois. Now it's starting to make its way towards Lake Michigan. That'll be here within the next few hours or so across our area, though. We're quiet. You can see again those lake effect snow bands are weakening in our area, getting ready for that next system to come on through over Lake Michigan in the next couple of hours. Now with this system coming through, we are going to have these winter weather advisories along the lakeshore. This one here in Van Buren County, Ottawa County and Allegan County on the southern half south of 96. That one expires Tuesday night. So that means Tuesday at 7 p.m. If you're north of 96, Muskegon County, Oceana County into the north, that one expires Monday night because the winds are going to shift and that's going to keep that lake effect snow on the southern half of Lake Michigan. So here's the future track on this. The system comes across Lake Michigan about 2 a.m. We'll start to see it here just at daybreak, which again could make for a few slick spots across the area. Mostly light snow along 96 and that'll just continue to fill in throughout the day. We're going to see the heaviest snow during the midday hours of about noon or so. This is right at noon again where you're going to see it. It does look like there could be a little bit of a light spot there north of Grand Rapids and west of, and east of Grand Rapids throughout the day. So they could see some lighter accumulations. But then as we go throughout the rest of the day, that will just continue to move off to the east and we'll just be left with lake effects now. So again, there's that winter weather advisory goes till 11 p.m. tomorrow for most counties. But then if you're south of 96, that's going to last until 2 p.m. on Wednesday. And when we look at this in terms of accumulation, most of it's going to be isolated again along the lakeshore just because a lot of this will be lake enhanced. We could see anywhere between two to three inches inland though, Barrie County, Allegan County, even in the city, and then just up to two inches there if you're going to the northwest east part of the town up towards Macosta County or Big Rapids for the accumulations. Now for the rest of the day, tomorrow temperature is going to be mild though for the most part, 26 degrees for the high with a southwest wind at five to 15 miles per hour. Could get pretty gusty at times, make for a little bit of blowing snow. That shouldn't be too bad. And then in the evening though, we're gonna see these winds go out of the southwest West to turn north and that's when a cold front shifts through. It's going to really drop our temperatures Monday night into Tuesday and it's going to mess with those feel like temperatures as well. Here's Sunday at noon. We're going to be seeing those single digit feels like temperatures throughout most of the day on Monday and those will drop to feels like below zero on Tuesday morning. Part of the super seven day planner Monday 26 degrees Tuesday again a lot colder once that cold front comes on through Wednesday though we dry out we hit 16 degrees Thursday we got a chance for another system to come on through but we do see those 20s and even upper 20s come next weekend so we're looking for a drier hopefully warmer pattern as we head on into next weekend Doug.